determine the length of wire AD. Where is AD? That is AD. I'm after this. And BD. Where is BD? That's BD. And CD. That is from here to here. That's CD. So I need to find those three. The ring D, the ring D, that's this here, is midway between A and B. So midway means it is it is half C uh, and midway here means is half D. Okay. And just for you so that you can do the calculation. If this is my A, the height of A, and this is my B, this I can easily found, find from B minus E. B minus E, yes. Okay, gentlemen, so I want you to do this. Just find me the length uh, AD and BD and CD length. You have to find, you can find position vector a D or D A, you know what to do. So come on, give me the answer. I need the the magnitude, which is the the length of A D, B D and C D. So first calculate A D for me. Um, so it's AD 1.5. Um, sir? So is it 1.5 kg or 1.5 newton meters. meters? Newton meters. No, only meters. Only it's meters. Okay, length. so it's a yep. distance. Okay. Yep. Okay, so what about CD? What is the magnitude, the distance, the length of CD? Um, okay, let me look, I'll calculate it right now. Come on, the answer, CD, what's the length, CD? One point seven three meters. One point seven three meters. Okay, so let us see if you're right. Okay, gentlemen, you can see the answers here. So it's it's pretty easy. Uh, okay, so let us look at a slightly different way now. 
look at this example now why it says here express force f that's my force f here that's the force f so express force f in cartesian vector form which means in i plus minus j plus minus k in this form uh, then determine its coordinate direction angle. So I have to find the angles also. Okay, so I've got the magnitude. I know the distance given, the angle, everything. I can find the position vector A, B. Can I? Can I find the position vector A, B knowing that I've got A? I've got B, I know C, and I know the angle. So from C, I can find this distance and this distance. So for my, my if I'm after the position vector AB, I'm after the position vector AB, I know distance in y direction that would be this component and this component that is my y distance my x distance is already given here that's b and my height comes from here so I can find the position vector AB. I can find position vector AB. You have to be careful with the sign. If it's AB, then my X component is, sorry, my Z component is downward. So that's minus. My, my X component is positive because it's going in this direction. And my Y component, is also going in positive direction. So the only negative sign will be of the Z. So I can find position vector AB. I can find position vector AB. I can then find magnitude. I can then find my unit vector AB. Same unit vector used when multiplied, when used with F, gives me this. I won't go and solve this. I won't ask you to solve it. It's pretty straightforward. So I'll move on. Is this clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK. So the working is here for you. You can have a look. Once you've got this, you know how to find your, your alpha, beta, gamma. This is done in a different way. So you can find. This is done in a different way. If I ask you to ignore this, what you can do is you have found the unit vector U, A, B. From the unit vector, and you've also calculated, you have also calculated A, B magnitude. So find your, your alpha angle for A, B unit vector, and also beta for a B unit vector. So that would be exactly the same for your force vector. Okay. So that's that's pretty straightforward. So let's let's move on. 